Hello, it's Lou Collins and today I've got some tips for you with regards to dies that have embossing features. So have you ever looked at your dies and wondered what those little lumps and bumps are? They're not gaps, they're not holes, but they're ridges in the die. Let's show you how to use them to get amazing effects. So you can add colour to your die cuts, you can add embossing detail really quickly and easily. As always, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and I will link the Textures Reflections Owl die set that I'm going to be focusing on today down in the description so you can find that in both the UK, Europe and the US. So let's get started. So this is my Owl die from my Textures range. It's one of my first collections and I love that we've got the embossing detail in the die. Uh, we've also got some nesting dies with this particular set as well so you can mat and layer shadows behind and things. So what we're going to need to use this is uh, cardstock of course, um, any colour, doesn't matter, and then we're also going to be needing a rubber mat. Now a lot of die cutting machines will already come with these, um, if not you can use something like quite a few layers of cardstock to get you started. Now looking at the die itself, you can see we've got the ridges, but we've also got the outer cutting edge. So let's just cut this. Now I always tape my days, dies down, regardless of what technique I'm doing. And I'm just going to run this through. I'm using a big shot here. So just run that through to get the outer edge cut. Now I'm going to keep my cardstock in position in the die once I take it out. And I'm going to retake that onto my mat to keep it exactly where it was. So I've removed the excess paper from around it. And I'm going to run this through again, but this time with my rubber mat over the top. Okay, so my die is facing upwards with the cardstock sitting in it. Now I'm going to run that through. I'm not changing the plates, I'm not changing the settings at all. So this will just add a little bit of extra pressure. Now what the mat is going to do is push the paper really into the die or the die really into the paper with a little bit of give there. So uh, with that flexibility on the base, you're actually going to get the paper stretching. And you can see already here, just without even taking the paper out of the die, the effect that we've already got. So still leaving this in the die for now, I'm going to add some ink and I'm leaving it in the die uh, for the reason that when I'm pressing down with my foam blender here, brushing that ink into the raised detail, I'm not depressing the cardstock again. The, the die underneath is going to keep that raised for me so I can get some lovely detail, nice and defined with my foam blender. Now I'm just using a flat foam blender for here, not a brush because a brush would add ink into the detail underneath, the cardstock underneath, and we just want the raised areas. And look at that, we've picked up the detail straight away and it's really highlighted it. And that is really the quickest and easiest way. Now bringing this out you can see this is the raised areas but if we turn this around we can see we've got the depressed areas, the debossed areas. And I do love to show you this on a craft card stock because that's actually made the card look even darker where it squashed the card stock. Again that's a lovely technique, it's nice and subtle, all done with the die very very quickly and easily. So how do we add detail into these debossed areas if that's the effect we want? So the quickest way of doing this is actually adding ink to your die. And I like to use a chalk ink. Uh, my personal favourite is Versa Magic. And you can get these in lots and lots of different colours. You could even do ombre effects with this if you wanted to. But I'm just going to apply the ink directly to the die, to those raised areas. Brushing it on lightly. You can brush or you can tap. Be aware of the cutting edge around uh, the outside here, we don't want to damage the ink pad, so just going ever so lightly. This won't dry very quickly at all, you've got plenty of time to work with this because it's going onto metal, it's not a porous surface, the ink will sit on there for ages and allow you time to work with it. So just dabbing those areas around the edge, being careful not to scrape my ink pad. Now I've got a nice purple here, just really for the video, so you can see it nice and dark. Now I'm picking it up by the edges when I'm touching it because I don't want to smudge that ink. And I'm going to place this back onto my um, die cutting plate, my paper on top and run that back through. Again, I'm not going to be using my rubber mat. And let's fast forward to the result of this one. Uh, you can see the cutting edge has cut nicely. Uh, just remove that excess. Let's leave this in the die, tape it down just to hold it still. I'm using my finger there to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Shouldn't move too much, you've already embossed a bit of detail in there. And now I'm going to add my rubber mat. So run this through again with the rubber mat on top. So this is a two-step process really. 
and skipping forward to taking this out of the die just be careful you've got that embedded into the die a little bit look at that the ink has impressed into the detail now that's like a letter press so you've got lots and lots of texture in there but you've also got the ink color and you can see the difference between ink blending and almost letter pressing the ink but you've got the detail on both sides still that you can use uh, without ink so you've actually got four different looks to this and here's just some examples of how you can be using that technique any one of those four techniques to get different looks and different textures and different colors into your projects thank you so much for joining me today if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and check out my other die cutting tips and tricks videos if you love the look of this owl die i have linked it in the description below